ओम नमः सवित्रे जगदेक चक्षुषे जगत प्रसूति स्थिति नाश हेतवे त्रैमया त्रिगुणात्मधारिणे विरिंचि नारायण शंकरात्मने ध्येय सदा सवित्रमंडल मध्यवर्ती नारायण सरसिजासन सन्निविष्ट केयूरवान्मकुंडलवान् किरीटी हारी हिरण्यमय वपो धत शंख चक्र This is an amazing verse from our ancient scriptures, the Vedic scriptures, which talk about the dhyana of the sun god. The sun god is absolutely the source of life that we have today on earth. We, we are able to sit, stand, walk, sleep, eat food, all because of the sun. It is because of the solar cycles that the whole world is created. And it's because of the solar cycles that the whole world sleeps, gets up, and all the activities are conducted by our majestic sun god. The sun, who is the progenitor of our solar system, has been named the father of the entire solar cabinet because of his supremacy in the solar cabinet. The entire solar system is influenced by this mega huge planet and we, the earth, the earth dwellers are no exception to his amazing majesty. So continuing with the praise of the sun god, the Vedas have talked volumes about his presence, about his magnanimous qualities. But again, the Vedas have also emphasized on something very special that modern science didn't know until maybe around 100 or 200 years when uh, a few clues were coming up in the realms of modern science. Before this, nearly 5,000 years back, which is the least date uh, that we can give to the Vedas, the Vedas like the Rigveda, the Ajurveda and the Atharvana Veda have given amazing explanations and explicit details about the antimicrobial and antiviral uh, nature of sunlight. Recently, many biased newspapers, many biased media have talked about only UVC, that is ultraviolet C light, being able to destroy the SARS CoV 2 virus um, and therefore saying it's very dangerous. And I do agree it's dangerous, but here is an Oxford study I'm going to show you all today that shows that UVB light, that is present in natural sunlight, can effectively deactivate that too. The the research paper says rapidly inactivate the SARS COVID-2 virus. Today we're going to study the implications of this amazing study and what we all can do to protect ourselves from coronaviruses. But again, one very important finding and one beautiful thing we have found today is, yes, the sunlight can inactivate the coronavirus. This was found May 20, 2020, but the biased media that is controlled by the elite has prevented this information from surfacing to the public. And even Google searches have manipulated the way information is found by the common public. I'm going to expose all these things today and explain how we should utilize sunlight and the different facets of sunlight and how we can make ultimate and uh, wonderful use of this beautiful source of natural defense for our human body. So let's begin. So now I'm going to show you this Oxford University Press article from the Journal of Infectious Diseases which is a highly prestigious um, uh, you know, journal when it comes to infectious diseases and we're going to consider this wonderful article that is about the simulated sunlight. So natural sunlight has been simulated and uh, has been used upon uh, culture media uh, that has been made out of simulated saliva that is having particles of SARS-CoV-2 and simulated saliva rapidly inactivates the virus itself and that is one of the greatest news we are looking at today. And this is one very important thing but it has been covered up by the media, by Google search and when anyone searches for example can um, can sunlight kill the coronavirus, uh, which is a very common question as shown by Google itself. Can sunlight kill the coronavirus? Google gives a very, um, yeah, of course, from the evil WHO, uh, who is not showing anything properly. Um, the WHO, whose responsibility is to enlighten, the, uh, yeah, to enlighten the public about what is the truth, has curated and given out this particular answer to this very important question. Can sunlight kill the coronavirus? But it has given a very diplomatic answer without talking about the importance of sunlight and how it can destroy it. And it has just talked about uh, you can catch COVID-19 no matter how sunny or hot the weather is. But it has not talked about how sunlight inactivates the coronavirus. We come to various topics again and frequently ask questions as to why even places where there is sunlight, people are still catching COVID-19. It's not supposed to happen, but why is it happening? So um, next, uh, here it has been given clearly, the abstract of this particular article is very important to consider. And um, 
Previous studies have demonstrated that SARS CoV 2 is stable on surfaces for extended periods under indoor conditions. So, the lockdown itself is proven illogical according to this particular article. People should be encouraged to take sunlight. I don't mean that they should mingle and group together and they should venture in dark places and dark surfaces. But they should be allowed to go in places where there's adequate fresh air and sunlight and people can stay away from each other, um, especially people who have uh, a compromised immune system. That is what science says. But the way it is being shown in the mainstream media is like stay at home and you'll stay safe. No, my dear friends, various articles and studies have demonstrated that SARS COVID-2 can flourish in indoor conditions can ex will be stable on surfaces for extended periods under indoor conditions this is very dangerous and this proves the lockdown itself that has caused a, uh, you know a, a rapid reduction in the absorption of sunlight by people people are not able to access sunlight and therefore many more diseases apart from covid-19 have emerged especially our mouth and our nose have been blocked by the masks that we are wearing and therefore we are not able to get the good benefits of the sunlight and wherever we venture outside so um this video is not complete when it comes about masks and youtube removed my video that explained the dangers of a mask scientifically so you can check that video out um, and it's been uploaded to bitshoot at the moment you can check that out but at, uh, so in the present study simulated sunlight rapidly inactivated as crs cov 2 suspended in either simulated saliva or culture media and dried on stainless steel coupons 90 percent of infectious virus was inactivated every 6.8 minutes in simulated saliva and every 14.3 minutes in culture media when exposed to simulated sunlight representative of the summer solstice at 40 degrees north latitude at sea level on a clear day and this is what we were having when the world was locked down we disregarded sunlight we were not allowed to access sunlight and today winter is slowly approaching and not only in India, but in the whole world, win winter is approaching. And every moment we disregard the sunlight from today will count on the health of our entire global community in the future. And this is how important sunlight is today, my dear friends. Do not get scared of sunlight. Sunlight is not going to infect you. Sunlight will, in fact, disinfect your surroundings. Spend more time in places with sunlight. I'm going to bust many more stuff today with scientific evidence. But before I continue uh, with the video, I would like to also talk about um, this particular thing. Additionally, and the final conclusion of this has been the present study provides the first evidence that sunlight may rapidly inactivate SARS CoV 2 on surfaces, suggesting that persistence and subsequently exposure risk may vary significantly between indoor and outdoor environments. Additionally, these data indicate that natural sunlight may be effective as a disinfectant for contaminated non porous materials. So, natural sunlight is what is being talked. We're not talking about artificial sunlight. We're not talking about UVC, that is ultraviolet C rays that are dangerous for our body and that WHO is concentrating on and focusing on. We are not talking about any of the UVC rays. We're talking only about UVB rays here and that is ultraviolet B rays that is functioning at this particular stage. And you can check this whole article it talks about so many wonderful things and it is relating to the present virus and it has been covered up now when we come to the common question this is what the who gives an answer so after reading this you will really get to know that the who is just intent on trying to lock down every single person inside their homes and this is the reason for many people getting infected as I've already proven in my other videos, the mortality rate of the COVID-19 virus is only 0.5%. You can check it out in uh, my, my video on masks, which the prelude to the video begins with how the mortality rate is 0.5%. So there's no need to fear, first of all. And so don't stay inside your home locked up. Go out in the sunlight, get fresh air. I don't mean to say you should crowd up again, but do get fresh air. It's very important for us. And this was explained in our ancient scripture, Atharva Veda, 
that even according to modern uh, history, which is highly corrupted yet, uh, modern history talks about Atharva Veda being around uh, 2,000 to 3,000 years old. But actually, the Atharva Veda is more than 6,000 years old. And I have other historical evidence for that. But leaving that apart, let's talk about this. Our Vedas had known this secret many, many years ago. They knew that electricity could kill um, humans and other creatures. And not only that, they even knew that the sunlight is highly effective in destroying viruses. Indrasya mahi drishat, krimer vishwasya tarhani, taya pinashmi sankrimin drishada khalva iva, drishtam adrishtam, atraham atho, kururu matraham. Algandun Sarvan Chalunan Krimin Vachasa Jambhayamasi Algandun Hanni Mahata Vadhena Duna Aduna Arasa Abhuvan Shishtan Shishtan Niti Rami Vacha Yatha Kriminam Nakiruchi Shatai There are many more verses which describe that the sunlight is capable of destroying the viruses. Surya Krimigraha is a very great phrase in both the, uh, you know, um, Rig Veda, the Ajur Veda, and the Atharvana Veda. I have a wonderful source uh, that has been documented meticulously by Dr. Chakradhar Friend uh, in this particular wonderful um, uh, you know, journal uh, on Vedic science, wherein every single portion has been analyzed wonderfully. And uh, uh, when I was studying um, my post-graduation diploma in Ayurvedic Microbiology at the age of 10, um, I had studied the different types of microbes that have been described adequately in the Vedas. And therefore, I was highly convinced, before which I, when I was 9 years old, I was studying mainstream microbiology. And therefore, I was thinking that that's the only modern source of microbiology. But then, I really felt that there's something beyond this. Just in one year, that was when I was 10 years old, I understood that the Vedas have much more than what we are studying today. And the Vedas have also found out this wonderful thing on sunlight and how it destroys, um, you know, viruses. And not only that, on contamination, Atharvana Veda also talks about, uh, it, it warns us that disease-causing microbes enter into food, water, and milk, which when consumed, cause illness in man. In fact, the microbes were given names like Nishachara. They were, they were given names like Adrishta. Adrishta and Nishachara and many more wonderful names were given to these. Nishachara means those that travel in the night when the sun sets. Moment the sun sets, the evil microbes that are not good for our body, they rise, they increase in their power. And the moment the sun rises, they all vanish. And this is proven by even modern research. But as I, um, as I would love to say, the Vedas is truth. The Vedas represent truth. And modern science goes from a path of speculation to truth. We need both to analyze the, you know, uh, the, the, uh, yeah, the methodology of how the sunlight affects us. But finally, the Vedas come again proving that they were perfectly true. So, uh, and even the Veda talks about sexual differentiation between um, a particular microbe and the other. Um, for example, this particular microbe, uh, E. coli, has both male and female genders. And there's so many more wonderful things that have been explained in the Vedas that we do not, that we know only now. And uh, the disease-causing microbes enter into various portions. So many more things have been mentioned in this, and I would like to also share this with you all so you can do your own research. Um, so uh, now, uh, many modern um, articles ha are being made on this particular subject, and many more doctors have fact-checked this particular thing, and it has been proven to be correct. But yet, we have the BBC, which is talking again about these things. Can you kill coronavirus with UV light? There's only one type of UV that can reliably inactivate COVID-19, and it's extremely dangerous. False. Dear BBC, you're false. And this is 24th April 2020. I agree. It is nearly a month before this particular study was published. Yet, most of the media quickly edits the articles once they know that something is contradictory to what they've published. But that's not the case with what's happening here. And even this featured snippet of the WHO should have been changed, but it is not being changed. This clearly shows that the motive is not to provide actual information to people, but to disillusion them and force them into thinking what we are trying to think. And I would love if anyone from the crowd listening to this video would translate this video in other languages word to word and publish it separately, um, which is a very good service to humanity. 
because uh, most people do not understand English that well. Uh, there's only one type of UV that can reliably inactivate COVID-19 and it's extremely dangerous. And uh, you have many more people uh, talking in this particular place. But no, no, this particular thing does not, uh, you know, there's, 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 there's so much fake stuff present in this. And one more thing talks about sunlight contains three types of UV. First, there is UVA, which makes up the vast majority of the ultraviolet radiation bleaching the Earth's surface. It is capable of penetrating deep into the skin and is thought to be responsible for up to 80% of skin aging from wrinkles to age spots. P the Vedas, on the other hand side, say that the risk of skin cancer is very less and the Vedic sciences talk about this because, for example, um, this particular article shows that they are changing trends uh, of skin cancer. So there are many more things that have been talked about in this place that shows that sunlight is not a, uh, you know, a main cause for skin cancer and only if we sit in sunlight in the midday and that too for lots of time there will be issues but during this time we also have to take midday sunlight to disinfect our surfaces and also to improve our immunity we should only venture in disinfected solar disinfected surfaces so that we are protected from various microbes not only uh, you know these particular microbes so one more thing is proven wrong that is being used today in the modern world and that is towering towering hills of towers where people are living today and most people do not have access to sunlight and this is one very big fault of modern housing um, so skin cancer constitutes a very small but a significant proportion of patients with cancer especially in India it's very very less compared to other types of cancer but India does have a very big exposure to sunlight there are many farmers in India uh, who go around in the sunlight for more than six hours every day bare chested and they do not get any particular disease relating to the skin cancer and even if someone is getting it it's because of pesticides and that has been shown in this particular uh, you know and, and uh, yeah in this particular article the conclusion of this article has been talked about here that the indiscriminate use of pesticides may cause a problem to our skin and that is one of the main reasons that arsenic that is present in water is also arsenic and pesticides if present in the water may cause skin cancer and therefore we must understand that wherever there is a high trend of skin cancer like the United States people are drinking toxic water and then going in the sunlight and that will really affect them in the wrong way so not only that the sunlight does not affect us so much, it's just a way to scare us from the sun who is so divine and whose properties yet as every single nectar also has a few side effects. We can't sit in the burning sunlight, we can't stare at the sun, these are all very wrong things. We should sit in mild to a uh, little bit harsh sunlight because during this period we have lost the sun for so many months. We need to get back, we need to build up our vitamin D and vitamin D is very crucial to our immunity which is crucial to our particular uh, situation today. So uh, as I've shown you now, all the particular things that have been shown here are very important and I would like you all to do your own independent research on this topic which is today's important topic and it is important for us to all uh, you know change our ideals on sunlight we need to look at sunlight as godly as divine or even if people don't understand such things we need to at least look at sunlight as a beautiful source of health there's so much science to prove this and even at this particular time there's so much more science to prove it for example at 12 o'clock we have uh, especially in the months of June May April and March we have wonderful sunlight but this is when the government has locked us down due to regulations from the WHO and no politician has properly analyzed what a lockdown could do to people. It's okay if you lock down places which are dark but it's not right if we completely block out access of sunlight and fresh air to the common public. December and January the UVB radiation is very less and when you look at integrated UVB um, 
The radiance, it is highest in the month of June. And it's very important for us to bask in the sunlight. We lost this month and we are now in August. But whatever little sunlight we get during this period, we should take in, my dear friends. And that is what I'm trying to say. Hope you understand me. Thank you. Jai Shri Krishna. So, um, one very important question people have that I forgot to talk about is, then why is the... Uh, s such a high spread in uh, your places which are so hot, um, especially during the time, uh, like Tamil Nadu in India. And um, also, why is there a spread in COVID-19 where people do not wear masks generally, like the United States, and why are people dying more there? First of all, to the first question about Tamil Nadu, I would like to say that it has one of the uh, you know, very low mortality rates in the country. It doesn't matter how many cases come because the number of cases are almost, you know, one in every four people is affected all over India. So it's needless to keep talking about how many people got the coronavirus today and how many got it tomorrow because already one in four people have it and most 99% of these are asymptomatic. So forgetting about that, let's come to USA. Why is USA afflicted by the coronavirus crisis even though they are fighting for their liberty in that particular place and they would like to walk out venture out and everything like that i would like to say that the united states is one of the most heavily afflicted countries in terms of lifestyle disorders and when we come to uh, the most uh, yeah, yeah, the healthiest countries in the world, um, you know, the healthiest ones are Spain, Italy, Iceland, Japan, Switzerland, Sweden, Australia, Singapore, Norway, and Israel. Uh, whereas the most, uh, you know, unhealthiest countries in the world uh, rank up with the United States coming 10th in this line. So it is very unhealthy. And also there is a lot of dangerous, uh, you know, food stuff being eaten there with high obesity, high cancer rates, and so many more dangerous problems that people are suffering from. And that is the reason why they're dying. So let's get some science instead of talking about people masking and not masking because that is itself a different topic and you can check that out in my mask video and I've debunked the whole mask theory over there. The links to all the videos and the articles provided here have been provided there too. Thank you. Over the past 20 minutes, we have analyzed amazing aspects relating to the sun and this will also encourage a revolution of regarding the sunlight as divine and as scientific. And I would like you all, please, to do your own research and I request you all to please bask in the sunlight for any particular period of time that uh, the sun comes in because this is very crucial for us at this particular stage when we when winter is fast approaching and we have disregarded the summer sunlight the summer sunshine has not only been disregarded but the media has scared us of outdoor environment itself whereas science says that indoor environment is more dangerous all this hangama that has been created by the media, especially for locals who do not know English, they have been baffled with this fear of, me, uh, of this horrible media. And because of that, they are not venturing outside. No one is venturing outside. People are all wearing masks and that is blocking them from receiving the sunlight in the nasopharyngeal cavity. So what's the solution, my dear friends? First, let's look at what the government and the media duo want us to do. Number one. Wear a mask, cover your nasopharyngeal cavity and the mouth, prepare an incubation and breeding ground for viruses and bacteria to thrive. Number two, keep looking at the media and stay tuned to government updates on the particular situation and also check in to every single media which keeps talking about how people are dying out of the virus rather than talking about what we can do to protect ourselves from the virus. Number three, stay tuned to everything that gives you fear and stays home stay safe. But what does science say and what does natural treatment say? What does Ayurveda say and what does our time-tested uh, and truthful Vedic scripture say? It always says one thing, regard the sun as holy. Of course, every single drop of Amrit will have, that is nectar, will have a small part of side effect. So therefore, we will need to consider the sunlight also as an amazing medicine, but not to take it when it is very bright but now we need to take it even when it's very bright because we have not taken the summer sunshine and what does real science say boost your immunity with one of the best herbs that is turmeric and the one which is a duo with turmeric and that is a wonderful herb it's called the amrita valeri tinospora cordifolia we have ashwagandha these three combined um, i talked about this back in april these three combined uh, that video was plugged out by youtube but you can check it again 
These three herbs combined is very good for our health and boosts our immunity immediately. Uh, it's called Let's Keep the Virus at Bay and you can check that video. Um, it's been re-uploaded uh, in a different name, of course, um, W-Y-R-A-S instead. And uh, along with that, we need to sit in the sun, we need to have faith in God and faith kills fear. So I hope you all take in at, at least into consideration what I spoke today and it will be very helpful if anyone translates this particular um, video in other languages and posts it as that is very important. We need to spread the message of sunshine and its amazing benefits. And this video also might be taken down by YouTube because of the manipulative strategy of Google. It doesn't want us to know about the beneficial effects of sunlight. Uh, as I've shown here, the manipulative systems of Google are very clever enough to make us feel that there's no alternative to this particular situation except the vaccine and that's what they're pushing today you can check my video on the vaccines too on our other channel awakened conscience or on this channel itself thank you jay shri krishna jay shri ramachandra jay shri lakshmi Desimha.